Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how to create a simple animation using WordPress Gutenberg and Advanced Add-ons plugin. Let's get started. These are the animations we will create this time. Some simple fade in animation, and we also create a custom rotate animation. Let's start by creating a new page on WordPress Editor. Enter the page title, and I will using the blank template. Let's publish the page before we importing the design. I've prepared the design in Figma. We will be importing this design. The design available on Figma community, and you can find the link in the description below. To import this design, we need to copy the Figma URL. Check my other videos about importing Figma design to WordPress if you interested. OK, the import process is finished. Let's save the change and see how it looks on the front end. OK, now let's add the animations. We will add the fade in top animation for the title, subtitle, and the row buttons. To add some animations, go to Block Settings at Advanced Animations section and select the fade in top animation. OK, update again and see how it look on the front end. The animations are working, but we want to add staggering effect. We need to add some delay to the subtitle animation and for the row buttons. I will add 0.2 seconds delay for subtitle and 0.4 seconds delay for the row buttons. Now the subtitle and the row buttons not showing at the same time with the main title. Now, we will add animation to the image block. But this time we will not be using the available animations. We will be creating a custom rotate animation. And we want the animation running based on the scrolling progress. To create a new animations, we can enable the new animation section, enter the animation name and click the create animation button or just type in the animation selection and click create new option. Then, enable the edit animation section to define what properties we want to animate. We need to define the properties of the start frame and the properties of the ending frame. For example, to animate the opacity properties, select the start frame and enter the opacity value and also define the opacity value for the ending frame. Here I will set the opacity is 50% at the start and 100% at the end. So the animation will start with opacity 50% and increase until 100%.
To have a rotation effect, I will animate the rotate x properties. I will set 10 degree at the start and back to 0 degree rotation at the end. I will also set the scale properties so the image size will be increased while scrolling. I will set the scale at 80% at the start and 100% at the end. Rotate X properties will be rotate the block at X axis. But it will be not clearly visible because we are working on two dimensional screen. To make it more visible we need to set perspective properties for the container of the image block. When this perspective is set, it will give more 3D perspective of the element inside. I will set 1000 pixel for the perspective value for the container of the image block. Now if we back to edit animation for the image, we can see the effect for the rotate X properties we set before. OK, let's view the result on the front end. Update the page and reload the front end view of the page. As we can see, the rotate animation is working but we want the animation to be triggered by the scroll progress. So the image will be rotate while we scroll the page. What we need is to change the trigger option. We change the trigger from on visible option to on scroll option. Let's update again and see the result. Now the image will be rotate based on the scrolling progress. And when we scroll back, the image will also be rotate back. Yup, that's our tutorial this time. I hope you enjoy the video. And please like and subscribe to support the channel. I will be posting more advanced animation in the next video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.